So this, so this is like a bonus in addition to what we've done so far. I had finished the job with the hybrid and the car drove fine, but I realized that um, it was only the internal combustion engine that was working instead of the electric engine to be picking up fast. So I parked the car and plugged my scanner to check what was wrong with the car. So unplugging the scanner, I realized that the old codes were gone, they never came back again. But this time around, it came back with a new code, P0A1F. It relates to the ba hybrid battery voltage system. So, so I decided to trace the code P0A1F. Tracing the code, it means that um, I would have to trace it down to the battery voltage ECU. You can see here, if you can see quite clearly, this is the battery voltage ECU. So, so um, I trace, I trace down, I trace, I trace it down to the ECU. I tore apart the ECU, and I saw that it was fine. I lose it. I saw that it was fine. Nothing was burnt inside. But on tracing down, my camera is bad. But on tracing down inside there, I saw, I saw smoke inside there, like soot. So what happened here is on the process of um um our, our walking because the, the vehicle has been parked down for a very long time. It's like there were corrosion inside here that caused the bridge for the wire, or on pulling the wire, it seemed like two wires here got attached to each other. That was why everything just melted at once. So this was what happened to my finger. You can see this is not fireborne, this is electric shock. So you should be careful when working on a hybrid, always put on your gloves even after you've taken out the service block. One in here, you should be careful when dealing with hybrid system. Look at what it did, it just burned the whole system. Thank God I was quick enough to pull out the whole stuff or let it, it could have caused more damage to the system. So each of these wires here, each of these terminals here has a sensor wire you can see. You have a sensor wire here that are attached to each cell, each battery block here. It's like there are 17 blocks here, each battery block here. To monitor their voltage and their performances so you should be careful when dealing with them so i decided to trace what was causing the suit i don't know the the light is bad but you can see that this edge is somehow black so i did this so this this is this is the connector where each of the battery voltage um sensor wire goes into there are at least uh, 22 wires here and we have um that four cells there so i decided to trace it down to these wires on tracing it down to this wire, you can see this wire got burnt. This wire is here, they got burnt, you can see, they are all cut off. On tracing it down to this wire, I realized that um, there was smoke coming out here. Anytime I wiggle the wire, I was wiggling the wire to see what, by the way, it's a partial contact. If I wiggle the wire, there, there was smoke, like high intensity smoke coming out here. If you check here, you see that this, this tree is black. Very high smoke coming out. So it seemed like there, there, there were two wires touching each other there that was causing that smoke. So I decided to trace down and wiggling it, wiggling it. That was how the two wires just attached to each other and burnt this whole wire as a whole. I found it very difficult to get another of this wire, but I luckily got it from a friend. But it was quite, it was quite, quite pricey. So this is the new one I just get. I'll still examine it to see if it's very okay. This new one I just got. I got this one for around 30k. This little wire here. The parts of an hybrid is very expensive, so you should be careful when dealing with them. So you should just. When I fix it, I'll show you guys how everything goes. So you should be careful. I know that after I fix this and socket it to the system, I know that everything will be fine.